Max Flare, I should live that. That does nothing, dude. This thing's insane. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another Sword and Shield Crown Tundra VGC testing video. Because once again, we are on the casual battle server. We are not or the casual battle ladder, not the ranked battle ladder, because that is not updated yet. It will be updated, I believe, on the 1st of next month, which is coming up in a couple of days. But the paste for this team is in the description down below. The rental for this team will be out in a dedicated analysis breakdown video for you guys tomorrow. So get excited for that. If you guys want to stay tuned, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any more of my VGC content. But let's go ahead and get into it. Yeah, I actually used this video, or this, I actually used this team in a video yesterday, and it did a decent amount of work. It was a really fun team. What I want to try to showcase today is the Trick Room portion of the team, where yesterday I sort of focused more on the Hyper Offensive Tailwind portion of it. Uh, it is a hybrid team, you're able to go Trick Room mode, and yeah, no, Stack Attacka and Glacier just do mad damage under Trick Room. And it looks like maybe Trick Room won't be the play for this one, just because they're so, so weak to the uh, Tailwind Reggie Drago version of the team. Uh, on top of that, if I went Trick Room mode, I'd be in a lot more trouble versus that really annoying G-Max Snorlax, I assume. This doesn't look like an official team, but I will go ahead and record the battle just to showcase a little bit more. Or by official team, I mean like, this doesn't look like their competitive team. It might be an in-game team, but I don't know. We just, we need to get some battles of this, you know? All right, so I'll go ahead and lead off Reggie Drago because it just has such a good matchup versus this. I'll bring the Tailwind in the back because it helps out, or in the lead, because it helps out so much. It looks like my Cinderace is going to be doing a lot of work here, and I kind of want to bring the Stack Attacka, just so I have an extra way of hitting the, um, of hitting the, why can't I remember your name? You're the cake, you're the cupcake looking Pokemon. Why can't I remember? Alchemy. I kind of want to bring Stack Attacka for Alchemy and also to underspeed his mons in Trick Room, but, mm, I think I, I really want to showcase the Glacier in this video, so we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that one. I mean, Glacier's still pretty slow. I think we'll be fine. Okay, let's see what they got. Urshifu and Flapple. That's actually a pretty great lead for me. Um, Urshifu is the water variant, which means that I can literally just drop a massive dragon energy. I can drop my big dragon energy on them right now and go for the Tailwind, and there's really no drawback to that. Because like their, their best priority move right now is to either Sucker Punch my uh, Sucker Punch my Regidrago Drago or go for like an Aqua Jet onto the Regidrago Drago to try to decrease the damage. But both these guys have so little special defense that like I'm, I'm just going to one-shot both of them if they're not Focus Sash. And even if they are, the whole point of this team is to drop a massive nuke at the beginning of the match, trying to get like an early lead and then cleaning up with either the Cinderace or the or the Trick Room mode. But we went hyper offensive this this match, so hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can showcase maybe the the Glacier. That's that's the whole point, man. Got to get him in the thumbnail. Got to get him in the thumbnail so people will click, people will watch. My YouTube channel grows, and I can uh, I can be good at Pokemon. <laughs> Not really. A lot of people think that like having a YouTube channel makes you automatically good at Pokemon. I feel like a lot of people before they even make the YouTube channel, they get really good at Pokemon. I did the opposite. I've been doing this for years and right at the beginning, man, I was garbage. But over the years, I've gotten pretty good at the game. I think, you know, I cut a lot of events. I do pretty well. And wow. Okay. That just, we just got the immediate one shot on both of these Pokemon. Hello. I mean, unless they brought the Alchemy, unless they brought the Alchemy, I think they just lose now. I think I might just get a clean Reggie Drago sweep. Honestly, I can't wait for the for the official ladder to go up, because once the official ladder's up, I, I can actually see how well this team fares. There's the Snorlax. Ooh, you guys want to see a Snorlax drop in one hit? I know for a fact the Toxtricity isn't taking this. Let's go ahead and let's let's just go for the fake tears in the Snorlax. If it doesn't Dynamax, it, it's gone. It's completely gone. This is, going to be, this is going to be doing some massive damage, man. I'm assuming they, they would Dynamax the Snorlax here. Just go G-Max form, let them eat the hit. They might just forfeit, though, because honestly, I don't see a way that they can win this match anymore. I 
But dang it, why does Reggie Drago have to take the show in the first match? I want to use the horse. Let me use the horse. It's so good under Trick Room, but man, I just haven't been able to find a match where it does that much work. That's the thing, though. Like When you find a match where it does work, it's, it's just like a free win. He's really taking his time here. He's like, man, I really just lost both of my Pokemon and got nothing from that turn. All right, let's see. That is a Moon Ball. So maybe the Snorlax because he's a sleepy boy? I don't know. Yep, there's the G-Max Snorlax. I wonder how much this does to it. Because it's got a good special defense stat and massive HP. I wonder how much this does. I'm going to say... I'm going to say we're going to bring it down to 30%. That's my guess. 30% is my guess. I'm locking that in right now. <laughs> Almost. That was like That's like 25% health left on that man. Okay, well now he's going to go up. To about 40. Yeah. As he max steel spikes... Who's that into? Oh, wrong choice, my friend. Dang, Reggie Drago. Four KOs in one match. That's really how this is about to go. That's really how this is about to go. Because now he has to take the single target version of the move, which is much stronger than the double target. If you don't know, in doubles for spread moves, uh, the damage of the move gets decreased if it hits two opponents. Just slightly, though. Just slightly. All right. There we go. <laughs> A clean sweep for the first match. Now, like I said, I don't think that was like their Series 7 team, but hopefully we can find one soon. Okay, so this is Series 7 team. Bro, they are so Trick Room weak. It is time for the horse. The horse is here. The horse is now. Look how weak they are to the horse. Like, yeah, they got two resistances to it, but I've got coverage. I've got so much coverage, and also Stack Attacka. Stack Attacka goes stupid. Undoubtedly, he goes stupid. Then again, I said the I said that the Cinderace was important to the Metagross matchup, but I suppose if we get the Trick Room off, it's not too bad. You know, it's not too bad. For all I know, Weakness Policy Stack is going to carry the game. But I'm not carrying a ground move on him, though. Okay, that's fine, because they're just gonna they're just gonna tailwind. And be stupid. Alright. So I mean my play is obvious here. They can't prevent the trick room unless they themselves have trick room on the uh, Whimsicott, and on this team I don't see how they would even fit it on there. Which is really nice. I appreciate not having to deal with that. Trick Room goes off 100%, unless they have, like, Earthquake on that thing. There's the Tailwind. Perfectly fine. Follow me away the hit. We also live it. We also definitely live the hit. Yeah. Trick Room up. And what... I think I just Dynamax the stack here. I think I always just Steel Spike and Expanding Force. Because Dracovish is just going to give me my, um... It's just going to give me my weakness policy, which makes me even scarier for his team. Because Vicious Rend, when I'm Dynamaxed, it's not doing anything, especially since I'm going first. Stack Attack is such a good Pokemon in the format. If you have not tried out Stack Attack, it's a big pain to get the zero speed one. It took me, like, I, I literally had to, like, reset 90 times in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon for mine. And then it went missing, and I had to ask a viewer for their Stack Attack. By the way, shout out to XTB. Thank you for giving me the Stack Attacka. I appreciate you. I had to ask my viewer for Stack Attacka, and he was like, yeah, go ahead, man. But yeah, um, try out Stack Attacka. It's such a good Pokemon. And we're going to get our Steel Spike off. And it's definitely going to one-shot the Togus. And with any luck, he will have gone for the... Uh, <laughs> he will have gone for the Ficious Rend into the Stack Attacka. All right. Max Steel Spike goes off into the Togekiss. No way you live that. No berry. Get him out of there. Plus one defense. I didn't redirect away the hit, so this Ficious Wren should definitely give me what I need. 
and then I can start helping handing this thing. Then this thing goes absolutely bonkers. Insane. Ridiculous. If the Ice Horse doesn't come out this game, or do anything, I don't know. I'm going to have to get another one. I'm going to have to get another match. As he decides to not give me my weakness policy, which is disappointing. Um, but I suppose I can just <laughs> attack again, you know. There's the Metagross. Uh, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to allow the Metagross to give me what I need. How many turns of Trick Room are left? Three turns of Trick Room. I'll go ahead and I'll just remove the Dracovish from play. Uh, I think what I do here is I max Knuckle the Metagross for an attack boost. And I just Expanding Force again to knock out the Dracovish. With any luck, uh, the Metagross will be carrying like Stomping Tantrum or something. And max Quake into the Stack Attacka, which I should always live. I should always live, just because it's such a bulky Pokemon, and the fact that I'm at plus one defense and Dynamaxed. I actually have the stack attack at EV to take a minus one... Oh no, just take a neutral Earthquake from uh, Jolly Landorus, I believe. If it's a spread move, you always eat it. Here's the max Knuckle. Go ahead and get up to plus one. And Ice Horse is still in here, man. Ice Horse is still in. Expanding Force will knock out this Dracovish. Get a nice, solid chunk of damage on the Metagross as well, even though it's times 4 resisted. Give me that Max Quake, bro. Give me that Max Quake. Max Knuckle, I can live with that. That does nothing. You are doing nothing, friend. Alright. Gonna get that weakness policy. We're not plus three attack. And he is leftovers, apparently. Okay, so not weakness policy. I feel a lot more safe in this matchup now. Because I can just hit it willy nilly, you know. And I think my play here. I think my play here is going to be to allow this. Uh, I'm going to allow the. Yeah, I'm going to allow the Whimsicott to attack me here. Or not the Whimsicott. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to allow the Metagross to attack me here. I'm going to go for the Rockfall. And I'm just going to switch out, I think. I'm going to switch out the Indeedee for the Drago. Because Drago is pretty useless in the matchup. And what I want to do is get into a position where I've knocked out the Whimsicott. My stack attacka has a weakness policy and a defense boost. Uh, and I can just spam hits at this... Um, I can just spam hits at this Metagross while I keep my Ndidi healthy. And the reason I switched out Ndidi there is because, of course, yeah, that's carrying the Focus Sash. The Sand that I'm setting up should knock this thing out. Unless he resets it with, like, Hailstorm. Probably some weird decision he resets, he resets it with Hailstorm. Uh, that's the only way he could actually do that. He knuckles into the Drago. That's perfectly fine by me. 100% fine by me. And Moon Blasts, okay. And that's actually even better for me, because now... Oh, wait, no. That was the last turn of Trick Room, right? Do we have one more? I need to get Ndidi in for free to win. But like I said, it's not Weakness Policy Metagross, but those Max Knuckles are starting to add up. Okay, we still have one more turn of Trick Room, which is good for us. That's very good for us. In fact, what I could just do here is double attack. Body press is my strongest one. So we'll body press up. And I will hit him with that uh, Draco Meteor, which actually should do a lot, even though it's resisted and he's Dynamaxed, because I do have the 2.25 time, <laughs> times uh, multiplier on it from Choice Specs and Stab. And that should leave him vulnerable to lose to uh, the... <laughs> Hello, that did a lot. As he steals Spikes. Okay. All right. Okay. So that that did uh that did nothing. That did nothing for him in the end actually. Cuz now I just redirect away the hit and go for body press to win. So the horse has still not made an appearance in this video. But I got to get this horse in, dude. All 
Alright. Let's just go ahead and uh, attack him. Hopefully he just targets down the uh, stack attack so I can get horse in the thumbnail. And uh, this high horsepower should do it. Shout out to horses. Horses in the back. Wow, that doesn't even knock it out. Stag attack, you are too bulky. And the horse. Okay, horse. Okay, yeah, you're just like I don't want to. I don't want to play today, dude. I, I don't. I don't want to play today. Okay, let's get uh, one more battle. Let's get one more battle for the video for the culture. All right, continue battling. And I want to show off this horse, dude. I really want to show off the horse. Give me a good trickery matchup where the horse can do something. That's not a bad trickery matchup, and the horse does look pretty nasty versus that team. We'll go with that. I will set up my trick room immediately. No regrets. Get this boy in, and uh, I mean, Reggie Drago doesn't do much here, but it would be fine. <laughs> It would be fine to bring, strictly because, uh, <laughs> that Cinderace is no longer an option. <laughs> the Cinderace is no longer an option. So, yeah, and Whimsicott also isn't too useful. He can't prevent my Trick Room, since I'm setting up Terrain. Uh, he would have to... I actually, yeah, I guess he could prevent it if he sent in the Tapu Fini. But I'm slower than that, so if he let off Tapu Fini, I'm good. Okay, that's fine. I'm actually EV'd in a way where I can live that, I believe. So I do get my Trick Room off. Unless he's, like, Choice Band. I think. I think I live that. I'm now starting to uh, wonder if I actually do. Follow me. Trick, trick Room? Please. Please. <laughs> I don't know. Please get the Trick Room off. Let's see if he has Earthquake or High Horsepower. Let's hope it's High Horsepower. Taunt? It is Earthquake. Come on. Come on, buddy. You got this. You got this. Ow. That did not work out. That did not work out. He's a Life Orb. Yeah, that's why. I'm not calc for Life Orb. Send in the horse. The horse still has a pretty decent matchup here. I think we have to Dynamax him. 100%. Let's go ahead and uh, helping hand this Max Knuckle. Actually, Steel Spike is super effective against him, right? Yeah. So I can just Max Steel Spike. And that'll do it. It does more than Knuckle anyways. And also get a Defense Boost, which is nice. Probably Incineroar. Yep, there it is. That's fine, I can Knuckle. We Dynamax up here. Now, hopefully, this defense boost will help me out, you know? Hopefully, that'll do enough. We're like, I'm not threatened by Incineroar as much. Helping hand the hit. So he goes for Rock Slide, that's fine. Indeed, he avoids. I'm gonna have to eat it with this guy, but man, that defense is so nasty. And I think he goes down. Yeah, nice. Now, I want to knuckle up, but I'm 90% certain that uh, <laughs> that the Incineroar is about to go for a parting shot. Which would not be cash money. Alright, what are they sending in? I, I hope it's Tornadus, to be honest. Alright, there it is. Now, Tornadus is usually Focus Sash. What Pokemon do they have in the back, though? Nothing that I can't really deal with, I think. 
As long as there's no Finny, I think I just win. So what I'll do here is I'll follow me, and I'll just go for the uh, Max Hailstorm, because it should knock out the Tornadus, and if it's Focus Sash, the Hail will take care of it. Are they Dynamaxing their Incineroar? Are they insane, dude? As long as there isn't an Ndidi or a uh, Tapu Fini in the back, I think I just win. Alright, that's fine. Because like I said, we eat the hit from that guy. We can hit him with a Dragon Energy as long as we're faster. So it depends if he sets up Tailwind here. Which I don't think he would. I don't think it's worth his time. As he taunts, that's fine. It gets blocked again. Thank you. And the Max Flare into the Indeedy. Alright. And like I said, we're, we're... Oh, wait, did I live? Hello? I had to turn around for a second. Did I just live that? What? Indeed, you monster. I don't know how I live that. Maybe it was a special attack? I don't know. Ooh, okay. My, my TV just cut out for some reason. Alright, take some hail damage. Not safety goggles, that's good info. And it is the Tapu Fini. That's still an issue. But I think I could play around it. Okay. I have to get rid of the terrain is the issue, right? I'll send him Reggie Drago. This is still really iffy, you know? It's still really iffy. I have to quake the incinerator. No, I have to get rid of Finny, really. That's it. That's the whole deal. The whole deal is remove Finny. I'll protect here. And... Hmm. I'm scared. I'm very scared. Go for the quake. That won't do it, though. Do I actually just send in the boy and hope that he doesn't... Yeah. I, I'm gonna have to... That's my best way of removing it. And I will quake into the finny. And my hopes here are that... Oh god, that's not into... Mm, that's no bueno. That's no bueno. Max Flare, I should live that. That does nothing, dude. This thing's insane. This thing's absolutely insane. Get the Quake off. Get a nice special defense boost there. I have to make a pretty controversial play here. make a pretty controversial play. I think I think it's in my best interest. Do I live the Moonblast from this range? I don't I don't think I do. But I also don't live the Flare. I think I get in my Ndidi right now. And I try to focus down that Finny even more. It's really just the Finny that's giving me issues, to be honest. Um... I mean, I definitely take another flare, but I don't think I take both. I don't think I take both attacks. You know what? This might be a throw. This might be a throw. I don't know. I just don't know how I do it. I'm just gonna hope that he targets into the. I, I think he has to double target into the um. Into the ice horse, the Glacier. I think that's how he wins. So I'm gonna try to play off of that. All right, that does so much, and I can helping hand it next turn to KO. I think if I can get rid of Incineroar and keep my Reggie Drago somehow, which is not gonna happen. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. There's a the Max Flare. It's gonna KO the boy. Yeah, 
my hopes there were that he would double target into the um into the tapu not the tapu Fini, into the ice horse and then i could just clean up you know i am assault vest i am assault vest and i think he's within range of high horsepower i don't want to close combat He's definitely within range of high horsepower. So I can like beat the Finny 1v1 if somehow this Incineroar doesn't knock me out here. And if I have like a respectable amount of health, I can just start clicking high horsepower versus the Finny. There's the Calm Mind. That's fine. Just like, you know, don't knock me out. It is Flare Blitz. Okay. I think that's game. Because I did lose my defense boost. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. So we're going to end it off with two losses today. I, w I upload my losses, man. I'm not a fake YouTuber. I will upload my losses. If I'm recording, you will see the loss. But unfortunately, we couldn't really get the Ice Horse to do too much today. However, we did Dynamax it. That is thumbnail material. So I'll just, I'll just take it, man. I'll just take it. I got to showcase how bulky it was at the very least. So yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.